Hello, in this video I'll go over the add-ons and weak cores I used to build my UI for RestoDruid in Mythic Plus. UI setup is important for RestoDruids since your healing mostly comes from heal over time spells and you need to track the state of these spells on your teammates. You need to prepare for damage before it lands and tracking all your party's cooldowns, buffs, and debuffs is important for making good decisions about how to prepare your team. After this video, your UI will give you all of the info you need to make better decisions and keys. First off, this is going to be an intermediate level guide. I'm not going to show you how to install add-ons, I'm assuming you know how to do that, and if you don't, there's plenty of great videos out there that can show you how to do it. Instead, I'm going to focus on the add-ons that I use and how I've set them up. The first thing we're going to do is set up ELV UI. ELV UI gives us all of our unit frames, our party frame, the player frame, target frame, and cast bar. It's also going to give us all of our hot icons. I'll put a link in the description for where to download ELV UI, but once you go there, you'll be able to click on this download button. So go ahead and download it and follow the instructions to get it installed. Once ELV UI is installed, you can type slash EC to launch the config panel. We're going to first go to profiles and import profile. Go to the URL that's in the description to get my ELV UI profile. You can hit copy the import string and then back in WoW, you'll be able to just paste this in and hit import now. Um, once you do that, your unit frames should be in this position, but you won't have all of the hot icons that my profile has. What we're going to want to do at this point is go get the aura indicators that is also provided in this link here. Let's go ahead and click on this. This is going to open up a Google Doc. Um, unfortunately, Wago doesn't let you import or filters. Um, copy the whole string, just make sure you don't get the end here. Sometimes Google Docs will add an extra space. You don't want any extra spaces here. Go ahead and copy this. Again, EC, Profiles, Import Profile. When you paste this one in, it's going to recognize it as an Aura filter. Let's go ahead and hit Import now. So at this point, your Uniframe should be present. All of your hot icons should work as expected. Uh, one thing is the the position of these uniframes might be slightly different. You might need to adjust the UI scale depending on the resolution of your monitor. Go ahead and type slash EC again to open the ELV UI config window and go to general and UI scale is here. There's a few presets that work fairly well or you can adjust the UI scale manually. The next thing you'll want to set up for your party frames is OmniCD. OmniCD tracks a couple of things. First, all of your party's cooldowns. You can set which cooldowns you want to track. By default, it shows defensive cooldowns, and for some classes, a couple DPS cooldowns. Um, the default settings out of the box are quite good. You can pretty easily make adjustments. There's all sorts of videos out there that can show you how to make adjustments to that as well. Uh, it will also provide an interrupt tracker. You can just drag this around wherever you want on your screen and position it where it's most convenient for you. Most of my attention is spent in this area of my screen, so I keep my interrupt tracker right here. Some people like to put it off to the side or or you know, wherever out, out of their field of view. Next up are our weak auras. We're going to install a few weak auras. First is going to be our core CD reminders. This will track all of our important cooldowns. This one is one from Growl. I'll include a link to it in video description. He has one of these for all of his healing classes that he plays, which is, I guess, all of them. Um, they're all really great. They cover the, the core cooldowns that you want to be keeping track of for your class. The next one we'll install is this high priority ability reminder. This one is Resto Druid specific. This is one that I wrote. I'll also include a link to this in the video description. This one comes with both high priority abilities that all Resto Druids have, but also will adjust based on your talents and what legendary you're using. For example, if you're using the Swiftman legendary, it's going to include an icon to tell you when you can use Swiftman to extend Scenarian Ward. Or if you're using the Double Life Bloom legendary, it will remind you that you don't have a second Life Bloom out. The next thing we're going to install is a CD reminder for Resto Druid. It pops up this icon in the middle of the screen when one of your cooldowns is about to come off CD. Um, I think by default it's going to show you the icon a couple of seconds before the cooldown is available. And once the icon goes away, the cooldown is then available. So you can see there's one second left on my Convoke, and the, I, 
icon is still here, but as soon as Convoke is available, the icon goes away. This is another one that I wrote. I'll include the link for it in the, the description. Another weak aura that people have been asking about is my emergency heal weak aura. This is one that pops up when a few party members are very low HP. In this case, we are basically all dead. So this is one that I'll also link to in the description. By the way, we timed that key, so subscribe if you're interested in seeing how we pulled that one off. Uh, I'm going to make a video about that one pretty soon. Another useful weak aura is this targeted abilities weak aura. It puts an icon on a party frame when someone is being targeted by an important spell. This can help you decide when to put priority healing into someone if they're about to take more damage. This is also a weak aura that I'll link to in the video description. It says it's for BFA, but don't worry about it. It actually still works really well in Shadowlands. I also get asked about this timer. This is another weak aura. Mythic Plus timer from Relo. Another thing I want to talk about is boss timers. I use bigwigs to track uh, incoming spells that the boss is about to cast. This is really important as a Resto Druid because you'll need to prepare for damage. So knowing that, say, in Plague Fall, last boss, Infectious Rain is about to come out, you can start to ramp at an appropriate time and then be ready for the damage. So when it hits, you're able to have hots rolling on your whole team. It flows down. You can cast a cooldown. You're just ready for damage. That's really important as a Resto Druid. Next, I'll quickly go over my add-ons. I use MDT for setting up routes. This is great for having maps of the pulls and planning things out with your tank. I log every run, so I use auto log to automatically enable advanced combat logging for keys when they start. I said before I use Big Wigs. Little Wigs is the Big Wigs companion for dungeons. I also use click. I only use this to disable right click on my unit frames. I've found myself accidentally right clicking and opening that context menu, so I use click to get rid of that. I use mouse over macros for all of my abilities, but click can accomplish similar things. Details, of course, so you can see when you're doing big dam. I use this details elitism plugin along with elitism helper to track when people are taking avoidable damage, including myself, I guess especially for myself. This is helpful to find out when you're making mistakes and standing in bad. It's also great for knowing when you have a teammate that's making a lot of mistakes so you can pay closer attention to them throughout the run. I like to set elitism helper to only output for self. To do that, to just type slash eh output self into chat and then it will only report fail damage to you. It's kind of obnoxious to have this popping up in party chat whenever someone takes fail damage. It's a great way to make your teammates mad at you. This is the mists add-on that I use for the maze. I mostly use it to keep track of what symbols I've seen, but if you're really tunnel visioned on healing, using this add-on to solve the maze as well is, is perfectly fine. Omni CD, this is tracking party cooldowns and interrupts. Great add-on. Opi is an add-on that will let you set up these radial wheel menus. I use it for all the potions that I might want to use while I'm in combat. Weak auras, this is kind of the core add-on that powers a lot of my UI and other people's UIs as well. One other thing I really like is this action tracker. I pretty much only use this for VOD review after a run to find out what mistakes I'm making, but it shows you exactly what spells you're casting and on what targets. I basically never look at this during a run, but when you're watching a video back trying to find out where you could improve, this is really, really helpful. The Action Tracker is a plugin that comes bundled with details. To enable it, go to the COG, Options Panel, Plugins, and check the Enable box next to Action Tracker. It will appear in the middle of your screen, you'll be able to drag it wherever you want it. This wraps up my UI overview. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe. I have a lot more Resto Druid Mythic Plus content planned. Let me know in the comments if there's a dungeon you're most interested in seeing next, or if you have any questions about my UI that I didn't address in this video. See you next time.